YouTube, it's me again. Uh, how lucky are you guys? You're getting a triple feature today of Young Black. Um, I went to GameStop earlier, my job, and tried to pick up a few things. I get the receipt. What is this? Oh, just a piece of paper. Okay. Um, they gave me the new Game Informer book, which everybody else is going to have to wait to get in the mail. Um, this is from the new Rainbow Six, um, Rainbow Six Patriots that's coming out. I'm pretty sure Game Reform is legendary for making every game, every magazine cover into a damn poster. You know, so I'm pretty sure we'll see a poster of that. Um, this is what I went and purchased, though, for my main reason for going there. Limited edition Tekken Hybrid. Right? Now, I didn't even know this was coming out until, like, maybe a couple months ago. And I was like, really? That's going on? It looked like something that would only come out, like, overseas, like, in the UK or in Japan. I didn't think they were going to release this over here. And then I seen on the, on the release sheet that it was coming out, and I was like, okay. My wife is a Tekken hawk. Like, she loves Tekken. She's not, like, really, really good at it, but she loves just to pick Christy or, um... What's the guy? The um, Eddie. She likes to play with those type of characters because you know you can press a couple buttons and you feel like you're doing something with those characters. So you know it's fun. You know, and I like I love Tekken too. Paul Phoenix is my guy. That's who I play with. But I'm really not into Tekken no more. I don't really play those type of two D um three D fighting games like that. The last one I played was Soul Calibur four, and I love that. I played tournaments and everything in that, and it was it was really fun. But three uh, D fighters to me, I don't know. Not really my thing right now, but I did love Tekken Tag Tournament when it came out. That was my very first PS2 game. I bought a PS2 and Tekken Tag Tournament. I didn't even have enough to buy a memory card. <coughs> I remember because I had my first job and I was saving tips for carrying boxes and stuff to people's cars. <coughs> Excuse me. And I went to buy my, my PlayStation 2 and I traded in two fucking um dreamcast right i had my dreamcast and then one of my father's friends bought his dreamcast to my house and was asking me to fix it it didn't work and i never fixed it and sat in my closet forever and then i ended up trading this shit in to get a damn um playstation 2 so i traded in two dreamcast and a playstation 2 and i had extra money and i went so i said fuck it i threw tech and tag tournament in there and i never forget this shit and then they wouldn't let me pick up my system on launch day. I could pay for this shit, but they wouldn't let me pick it up because I wasn't over 18 yet. So I had to call my mother all the way to the mall just to come pick up my system and me because they wouldn't release it to me. But they would let me pay for the damn system. But they wouldn't let me, um, they wouldn't let me pick it up myself. I had to be with somebody who was of age to bring the damn system home. You know, so that was a little crazy. But that was my experience with, um, Tekken Tag Tournament. So I'm a fan of, of Tekken Tag Tournament. More than the regular Tekken games. Tekken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't really... Not really my type of thing. The story and all of that. Not really my type of thing. But Tekken Tag Tournament was like... Here. Here's all the Tekken characters. Just play the game. With all the characters. Without having to buy multiple versions of the game. Or anything like that. So that was really good. It was like a mashup of all the Tekken characters. You could just go gung-ho. You know, this is an HD remake of Tekken... Um, tag. It's an HD version. And it's also uh, uh, a demo version, I think is, it is, for Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So you get that also. And then also, you get to um, watch a movie. There's also a 3D movie that comes with it. So if your TV is 3D compatible, which mine is not, I don't really care about 3D at all, you can watch a, 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 a whole CG movie. It's a CG movie using the, the graphics and the, the art style of the Tekken characters. You know how the Tekken characters look. It's them, they, the whole movie's gonna look like that. So I'm pretty amped about that. I was like, that's pretty cool. And for 60 bucks, you get, it comes with a lot of stuff in the collector's edition. It, came, it comes with a physical art book, right? It comes with a, a two disc soundtrack thing, which is like, okay, whatever. A DLC voucher and the game, right? So I was like, that's pretty good for 60 bucks. You know, the regular version is only um, $40, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Still got that damn cold. Right, but I'm going to unbox this for you guys quickly. 
my wife would be home in a minute and she's going to want to play this bad boy. And I asked her and she said I could unbox it. Normally, I was surprised. I thought she was going to want to be here to unbox it. And I just do all the talking about it. But no, she said, no, go ahead. I can, I can unbox it while she's at work. You know, so that's cool. So I'm going to unbox it now. Let's see exactly how this bad boy's packaging looks on the inside. Oh, God. It has one of these crazy mate kind of finishes to it. I don't really like when they do this. Like, um, anybody who has the collector's edition of, what was it? Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker for the um, PSP. You know what I mean? It, it's one of those cases where that if your hands, if you're one of those people who, like, use lotion and shit and... You put some oil, like you have oily fingers or something, not even really oily, just like the, the moisture of your hand. Like if you just put your hand there, it leaves marks. I don't know if you can see that really clearly, but it leaves marks on it, which which deters you from wanting to um actually touch the box. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. Normally, the back of the box is just like a piece of paper wrapped up in the plastic. You could take that off and it has something else. No, this is actually the back of the box with all this... Um, you know, all the PlayStation information, which would normally be on the back of a case, is on the back of the box. So that's pretty neat. I'll give you guys a closer view of everything. You know, there's the um, all the stuff inside the package in a, in a picture. Showing you all the little, little tidbits and details. And then it has like little, I like how it has like little credits set up down there like a move for the movie or like it's some, a DVD or something. Let's, I'm going to slide this open. There's a code right here. I don't want you guys to see, though. Because I'm not going to probably punch this in. Right away, so I'll take that out. But just to show you how the game comes packaged in the packaging. Oh. They put them side by side. That's kind of cool. Alright. Let's open this. It's the game. Cover. Anybody who's a huge Tekken fan, I would suggest you go pick this up if you like Tekken. Especially because Tekken is kind of a dying game right now. People aren't really... They're not really supporting the 2D, the 3D fighting genre that much. It's really, a, to me anyway, it's really like a dying genre. I mean, you see tournaments for like Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 all the time. You don't really see too many people going hard over Tekken. But... Tekken is a definitive fighter for our gaming generation, nonetheless. Even though it's losing popularity now, it still really is an awesome freaking game. And the movie's on the disc. The movie's not on its own CD, which I would have preferred, just so that I had more physical content in the case. But no, the movie is on the Blu-ray itself. So you got three pieces of content on one Blu-ray. See, that's why I love fucking... Um, PlayStation, because they could fit all of that content on one fucking disc. You know, so that's pretty good. You got the whole Tekken Tag Tournament, and it's redone in HD. Then they gave you a, a demo of Tekken Tag Tournament 2, all done in HD, plus a whole damn movie, all on one damn Blu-ray, right? Like, it's a lot of damn space. Now, these music CDs, are, I always fucking struggle <clears throat> to open these sons of bitches, because I have no nails, because I bite them when I play my games. Which is a really horrible habit that my wife hates. But I've been doing that since I was a little kid. It's like during the loading screen, I'll just be like, which is a real nasty and horrible freaking habit. This thing really does not want to open for me right now. I could never be straight up reviews with no monster unboxings. I don't know how the hell he does that. Because this shit is really not trying to open for me. All right, now just bear with me. I'll get it. It's fighting me like a mother trucker right now. Come on, game. Or um, music CD. Come on, this is like epic fail right now. Ah. There we go. Something worked out. I had to use my girl's rat tail comb to get the damn thing to. What are you gonna do, guys? What are you gonna do? <clears throat> Alright. 
how the soundtrack looks. All black Namco says soundtrack in the front. <clears throat> Namco symbol in the back. Open it up. The color it looks like the disc might have. The disc looks like it's like bluish tint, like really dark, dark blue though. Right, and you got the um, recording and engineers and all that, all that good stuff on the other side. And then you got disc two, which is that for the limited edition soundtrack, which I'll probably never listen to. Well, that's not true. I'll pop it in just because I have it. And then to respect that I did buy the, the um, collector's edition. So, hey, why the hell not? Now, this was one of the main reasons I bought the damn um, limited edition. A whole physical fucking art book, which is a little thin, but it's still hardcover physical art book for not just um, Tech and Tag tournament, but for the movie, the the um, Tech and Tag HD and Tech and Tag too. Right, so there's art from all three in here, and it's a full size art book. I gotta commend. Um, Sony, I don't know if this is for Xbox also like this, so I don't know. But I got to commend whoever's idea it was to say, hey, let's start giving them hardcover full books instead of them little square books like God of War 3 and a couple other games I can't name right now. Um, Dark, um, Dark Souls, all them little tiny um, fucking books, Gears of War. They have those, those um, odd-shaped rectangular fucking t type of books. You know what I mean? I, I mean, those are cool too. But I prefer something that has full-size sheets of paper so that I get a full, um, wide view of the art. Wow. I didn't think it was going to look this good. It looks really freaking good. And on top of that, it has information in the art book, so it's not just pictures. You know, I don't really know the storyline for all the characters. I'm not really into the Tekken universe like that. Like I said, I just like to beat people up with the characters. I like Paul, I like Hawang. I don't know how good you can see that because the paper is like really high gloss. But it has really good art. It looks basically like maybe scenes from the movie or um, images from the game just frozen. Right? I didn't see any hand drawn art yet. This is all computer rendered art. I'm trying to make sure you guys get a, you know, a good view of the picture, but I can't show the picture and see what I'm showing you. <clears throat> Another thing I like about the art book is that every time I turn a page, there's also a page with text on it. So it's giving you information. Like, like look at that. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. It's going to be cool to see the Tekken characters in their own natural element. So I, can, I get to feel them more. You know how when you first see like Street Fighter... The animated movie, you kind of got more of a feel of how the characters really are as people. I'm looking forward to that because I never really emotionally got connected with any of these characters because I never knew how they would actually play out as regular people. Just how they say, ooh, ah, and kick and punch. You know, so it's going to be good to see them play out in a, a, a dramatic way, but, you know, in their own personalities. You know, I mean, the art book is really cool, though, because it really explains the characters. It's not just art. It's art there, but I guess they said since it's not hand-drawn art, they just basically put in pic CG pictures there. It's um cool that they add this extra information about the characters themselves. They even have pictures of the people who play the voice actors for the characters, which I believe is for the movie. No, go. Put that back. I don't want that. Put it back. Thank you. God, they find any reason to come out here right now while I'm making a video. They want to give me pieces of paper, everything. Be all right. Who is this? I don't know who this is. That's that robot chick, if I'm not mistaken. And that's my wife's name right there, Unique. Right here. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. These are the voice actors that play the characters. 
That's pretty cool. Wow, Jin looks really cool right there, yo. He has like his power gauntlet so on with like regular clothes. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, make sure you go get this, man. If you're a real fan of it, I don't know if you can find the, the limited edition of it. But if you can find it, get it. It's worth it. This is a really cool art book. Look at that. They even have a, a relationship chart. So if you ever wonder how this character knows anything about that character and crisscross, they actually explain it with a little chart right here, which can actually be a little confusing. But if you take the time, you can basically decode it. Turning a game into a movie, they have um, type of, what is it? well, not really question and answers, but stuff from the people who translated the game into a movie. So they had, they're telling you how they did that and what went into it. You know, really cool though, man. That case and posters. A lot of good art in this book, all right? But I'm not going to show you everything. You guys are just going to have to go buy the book. Plus, my kids are driving me crazy, so I'm about to go give them some time and attention. So I got to be good daddy on top of super gamer at the same damn time and worker, provider, and husband. So I'm multitasking. I got multiple hats on over here, but I'm doing it. Um, real gamer stand up. Um, I don't know when you're going to hear from me uh, again, but I gave you a triple feature today about most, most of the stuff that I recently bought. I can't do every damn thing. I don't play Zelda, so don't look for nothing on that. Not my type of game. But um, go get your Tekken in the other in um, Marvel, Ultimate Marvel Capcom 3s and King of the Fighter um, 13s. Good games, right? <clears throat> so I bought, what, the last three games I bought have been fighting games. So I got a lot of good fighters to play during the um, winter. Um, real gamers stand up. Um, everybody be safe. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Subscribe, comment. Nothing stupid. If it's stupid, whatever. Put it there. I really don't give a fuck. I'll just ignore you. But um, all my real, all my real gamers. I don't even say fans because I ain't cocky like that. Nobody needs to be my fucking fan. We just all gamers and we communicating. I ain't trying to have fans or none of that bullshit. I just want to be part of the community. That'd be nice enough for me. But um, real gamers stand up. Um, everybody stay safe. Enjoy your holidays. If I don't hear, if you don't hear from me. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Real game stand up.